Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be reviewing the FlexiSpot Pro E7 Standing Desk, which is FlexiSpot's flagship model. Before we get into all the specs and get a closer look at the desk, I want to show you the assembly process. So the desk itself comes in three boxes. The larger box is for the tabletop, while the desk frame itself comes in the two smaller boxes. In terms of packaging, this all looks really good. There's plenty of padding around the tabletop and the desk frame itself is also well protected. The desk instruction manual is of high quality and it's good to see that all the screws come individually packaged and labelled. As well, it's nice to see the desk comes both with an EU and a UK plug. Assembly of the desk is really straightforward. The first step is to attach a bracket onto each side of the beam. Each is held on with two bolts. After turning this over, we can then go ahead and attach a lifting column onto each side. Each lifting column is held on with four bolts and each of these lifting columns has a separate motor in it. Next, we can go ahead and attach the feet to the frame. Each is held on with four bolts. We can then go ahead and lift the frame onto the desktop. I think this would be possible to do with one person, but to get a good camera angle, I did get my son to give me a hand lifting this on. Because I'm going with one of FlexiSpot's desktops, some of the holes will be pre-drilled, making installation that bit easier. Of course, you don't have to go with one of their desktops. You can use this with any tabletop. To adjust the length of the frame to line up with the pre-drilled holes, all we need to do is loosen the four bolts in the middle. We can then go ahead and fix the frame to the desktop using four screws at each side. Following this, we can go ahead and re-tighten the four bolts we loosened earlier on in the middle of the frame. Then we need to secure the middle part of the frame to the desktop using a further four screws. These holes aren't pre-drilled, so I find using an electric screwdriver that little bit easier. Then we can go ahead and attach the desk control panel to either side of the desk using two screws and the pre-drilled holes. Then it's just a matter of connecting the cables up to the control unit. So each of the motors needs to be plugged in and then we need to plug in the control panel. Then we need to go ahead and plug in the power cable. The final step is to attach the supporting beam stroke cable cover. To do this, you want to screw four of the bolts in loosely. Then you're going to be able to put the bracket in place before finally tightening up the bolts. And this does a great job of hiding all the cables away. In terms of turning the desk over, I think you could manage this with one person, but as I had my son about, I got him to give me a hand. So as I've mentioned, the desk I've got is FlexiSpot's flagship model, the E7, which is currently selling on their website for just under £400. This price just includes the desk frame. The top is optional. You can either add your own top or get a desktop from FlexiSpot. The all black model that I have, which is 140 by 70 centimeters by 2.5 centimeters, costs just under 100 pounds. They offer a whole range of sizes and different colors on the website. In terms of the desk frame, it's available in black, gray, and white. So as you'll have noticed during the build, the E7 flagship model features dual motors, giving the desk a weight capacity of 125 kilograms. The desk can travel from a minimum height of 60.5 centimeters to a maximum height of 126 centimeters. It moves at a speed of 3.8 centimeters per second at noise levels of less than 50 decibels. The desk features anti-collision technology, so it will detect if there's something interfering with its movement either above or below the desk, and it will then stop the desk moving and move backwards slightly from the obstruction. Using the control panel is fairly straightforward. Holding the up and down buttons allows you to adjust the height of the desk. It moves when you're holding the button and stops when you let go. As the desk is moving, its height will be displayed in the center of the control panel. Holding in the M button for five seconds activates the child lock feature, preventing movement of the desk. To unlock this feature, again, you need to hold the M button for five seconds. The desk comes with four height presets labeled one, two, and sitting and standing. To set the presets, all you need to do is move the desk manually to the height you want it to go to, press the M button, and then press whichever preset you want to save it to. Then you can move the desk automatically to that preset by just pressing the button. Even at its maximum height, the desk is still pretty sturdy. As well as sending me out the desk, the guys at FlexiSpot have also sent me out their M21 monitor mount, 
So I'm gonna go ahead and get the desk set up with a PC to give you an idea of what it looks like. So that's the setup complete, and I think you'll agree it looks absolutely great. In terms of building the desk, as you can see from the installation, it was really straightforward. The build quality is excellent, both of the frame and of the desktop itself, and I think it looks great in this all-black colour. Again, the desk is also pretty sturdy. Um, one of the other things I was really keen to test with a standing desk was to use it with a desktop rather than a laptop because you're going to have a whole lot of cables coming down. What I actually did was I installed a power brick underneath the desk with some double-sided tape, and that is the only wire that comes down to the floor. All the other cables are managed up underneath the desk, so there's absolutely no problem if I want to lower the desk or raise it. You've got no cables on display. Um, I've done a really quick job at managing the cables just with a few cable ties to the monitor mount at the back because I'm planning on giving this desk to my son and I need to take it apart and actually carry it from my studio up the stairs to his bedroom. In terms of using the standing desk, this is my first experience of using one and I absolutely love it. When I'm sitting at my own desk, it's quite often a number of hours at the desk editing videos I do get quite sore at times sitting in the chair, even though it's a good chair that I have. And actually having the option to get up and stand for a period of time would be absolutely great. So I'm actually quite regretting the fact that I had agreed to give this desk to my son before it came out, um, because I would quite fancy it for myself now that I've actually used it. So in terms of the FlexiSpot E7 standing desk, I can most definitely recommend it. I've been really impressed with it. And if you want to find out more about it, you'll find a link to the product in the description. So hopefully you find the video useful. If you have, please remember to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not currently subscribed to the channel, please hit the subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching.